Welcome to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, I've got all my Jurassic World Dominion figures, and I've even got some new ones that we're gonna open up. I've got this empty space on my shelf. So today, we are going to do a Jurassic World Dominion shelf build. The first that I'm gonna put on the shelf is the Therizinosaurus. This figure is mostly black, but it's got some green, and it's got a red stripe down its back. So let's put that on the lower shelf right here. The next one is this huge Giganotosaurus figure. This figure has the iconic soft green color with the black detailing along its back. It's got that huge spine and those really cool looking teeth. And this figure actually has two action buttons. The first is with this button on top that swings the torso back and forth. And the second is a button on the bottom of its tail used for opening and closing its mouth. So let's put that on the right side of the lower shelf. I've also got a smaller Giganotosaurus figure here. This is the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus. So as you'll notice, quite a bit smaller than this one right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right next to the larger one. In the back here, I've got a huge Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. This figure is a lot darker color than a lot of the other T-Rexes that you'll see I have on the shelves over here, but it still has the same awesome button on its tail to control the jaw and you can use the tail to twist the torso around too. So let's go ahead and put this right next to the Giganotosauruses. Why don't we go ahead and open up these ones that I bought for this video. This first brand new one, I believe is pronounced an Ichiovenator. Wow, that's a long word. Well, let's open it up and check it out. Here it is out of the box. It's got a dark green body, but a super bright lime green tail and spine on top of its back. This figure also has an action button that when you press down on its body, it does the chomping action. And it's got some sound effects too, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put this on the higher shelf right up here. Next, I've got the Extreme Damage Allosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. I'm super excited about this one. I've been waiting to get my hands on this one. This is probably my biggest Allosaurus figure. I have other Allosauruses that are similar colors as this, but none of them have this awesome battle damage on the side. As you can see, you can actually lift the rib cage up to reveal the stomach beneath it, or you can close it all the way to make it not have any battle damage at all. That is super cool. Plus, I believe it has one action button on its back for the jaw. Oh, check out that blue tongue too. That is pretty cool. So let's put this Allosaurus right next to the Therizinosaurus on the lower shelf. Next, I've got the Roar Strikers Sinoceratops. Let's check it out. I do have a few other Sinoceratops figures, but this one has totally different coloring. It's got this super bright yellow tail, the soft green body, the big horn in the front, and those black eyes. I think that's a really unique choice for a dinosaur like this. So let's put this Sinoceratops on the top shelf right there. And last of the new dinosaurs that I'm gonna unbox is this tiny little Therizinosaurus. This is a very small Therizinosaurus figure, but it's still pretty cool. Of course, it's got the iconic huge claws in its hands. You'll notice that it's a dark color, unlike the large ones that are a gray color. But other than that, it has some pretty similar coloring with the larger Therizinosaurus. So why don't we put it right next to the larger one right there. Next up, we've got the Mega Raptor with the red back and the dark blue front. And it's got some white detailing on the tip of its face too. And check out those orange eyes. That's pretty cool. And this figure has an action. It chomps when you press down on its back. So let's put this on the higher shelf right up here. This is a Pyroraptor with the red body and the black legs, tail, and face. It looks pretty evil, I will say. It's got like a, almost like a mischievous grin on its face, almost. I'm gonna put this Pyroraptor right next to the Extreme Battle Damage Allosaurus. This is the Ragosaurus. I've bought this figure really recently. It's got the dark blue body and some lighter detailing on its neck and under its chin too. Let's put this right next to the Therizinosaurus. 
And I do believe I actually have another Ragisaurus in here. Yep, here it is. This one is brown with some blue detailing on its back and neck. So it is totally different from this other Ragisaurus that we have. But I'm gonna put them side by side. This next Jurassic World Dominion figure is the Ampelosaurus. It's got the clay red body and this super long neck. And you can use the button on its tail to open and close its mouth. Let's put the Ampelosaurus right next to the Sinoceratops. Here we've got two identical Atrociraptor figures, but one is miniature and one is a lot larger. So let's check out this first one. This is a basic figure, so you can't move it too much and the jaw doesn't open and close, but it still is a great display figure. So let's put this right next to the Mega Raptor. And let's take this little Atrociraptor figure and put it right next to the larger one too. Next up is the Yang Chuanosaurus with the green body and the brown and red detailing. Let's put this dinosaur right next to this T-Rex here. This is a pretty cool looking dinosaur. This is the Siamosaurus. It's got the red spine and red face and the rest of its body is a dark blue color. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Ampelosaurus. This is the Sound Surge Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a bit smaller of a figure than many T-Rex figures, but it still has some pretty awesome sound effects. Let's go ahead and put this T-Rex actually right next to this other T-Rex. So we need to move this Yang Chuanosaurus and put this T-Rex down right in between. Here we have an Iguanodon figure. This figure is tan, dark brown, and it has some lighter detailing on its back and it has an action when you press down on its body it moves its neck up and down let's put this iguanodon right next to the siamosaurus i've got a rowdy roars atrociraptor this one is bright orange so a bit different coloring than the ones that we saw earlier and it also has some sound effects that come with it too Let's put this Atrociraptor actually on the very tall shelf. I've got some space up here too. Here is another Rowdy Roars figure. This is the Dilophosaurus figure, and it also comes with sound effects as well. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put this also on the very top shelf. This is the Hammond Collection Baryonyx figure. So it is super poseable and a bit more detailed than normal. And it's also got some cool coloring with the gray and the white and the dark blue on top. Let's put this Baryonyx right next to these Atrociraptors. Here is a miniature Carnotaurus figure. It's got the dark green and orange body. That's pretty cool. Let's put this figure right in front of the big Giganotosaurus figure. Let's see if we can fit it in. Right there. Let's see what else we got. We got another Atrociraptor figure. This one is tan with brown striping. So let's go ahead and put this right next to the other Atrociraptors. And I've also got a few extreme battle damage figures in here too. This first one is a Velociraptor with battle damage on the side. Let's put this one right next to the Baryonyx figure. I've also got the extreme battle damage Coelurus figure. Let's put this figure right in front of the Ichiovenator on this top shelf. And I've also got the extreme battle damage Dimetrodon figure. It's got the light green body and the orange spine. Let's put this figure right in between the Yangchuanosaurus and the Ragosaurus. Next up, I've got the Moros Intrepidus figure with the green body and the orange tail and orange stripe. I'm gonna put this dinosaur right next to the Iguanodon figure. <laughs> and next is the Miragaya figure. This figure is darker colored. It's got some black and a dark blue green color in the back. And it's got those huge spikes coming out of its shoulders too. Let's put this figure right next to the extreme battle damage Velociraptor. <laughs> And last but not least, I've got these three super colossal figures. Let's first put this huge Giganotosaurus figure and put them up at the top of the shelf up here. There we go. That is a huge figure. 
Next, I've got the Atrociraptor with brown striping. And you'll see on this one that there's two tones of brown color on it. And I'm gonna take this figure and put it up on the top of this shelf to the left over here. It's pretty cool. So now it's like the Atrociraptor and Giganotosaurus are fighting. And finally, I've got the Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. And I'm gonna put this figure down below on this lower shelf next to these other super colossal figures. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you a shelf tour of all my dinosaurs that are gonna show up in the Jurassic World Dominion movie. I'm super excited to show you all of these dinosaurs. And look at these, I've actually got some brand new ones that we're gonna unbox first. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first, let's unbox the Therizinosaurus. This is the sound slashing from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Let's open it up. All right, got it out of the box. Wow, this is a noisy dinosaur. Let's see what it can do. Look at these massive claws in the front and you can open and close its mouth and adjust its head. Let's see the action moves. If you move the tail. Oh, all right, look at that slashing action. And also there's a button on the tail as well. Let's see what happens when you press that. All right, that is super cool. Wow, this is a super awesome dinosaur. Super ferocious. And with those massive claws, I definitely do not wanna be messing with this dinosaur in the wild. Let's move on to our next brand new dinosaur. All right, next up, we've got the massive action Yangchuanosaurus. This is so cool. Let's open it up. All right, so here is the mighty beast. It's mostly green with a little bit of brown on the top. Look at that on the top of its head. That is so cool. That is so detailed. It's got those massive teeth as well. Let's check out the actions that this has got. Ready? There's a button on its tail. Let's try that one first. All right, that controls its mouth so you can chomp with it. And with the tail, you can actually wiggle it back and forth and it'll move his head as well. So you can chomp and move its neck at the same time. That is so cool. Watch out, here comes the Yangchuanosaurus. All right, another brand new Jurassic World Dominion toy. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. This is a winged dinosaur. Awesome, let's open it up. All right, here we go. This is a massive winged dinosaur. Let's open up its wings. You ready? Extended and extended. Wow, look at that. That's probably like a foot across. That is huge. And let's check out this button here. If you press it, what happens? All right, it flaps its wings. That is so cool. And there's actually a button on the bottom as well. Look at that. Let's see what happens when you press that. Oh, its mouth opens and closes. And look at the size of this head too. That is a huge beak and a very colorful beak too. All right, now let's check out all these other dinosaurs that I have on my shelf. Let's start way up here up top. Here is a gigantic Velociraptor. Look at the size of those claws. Those claws are bigger than my fingers. Look at that, that is huge. And with this toy, you can open and close its mouth. Look at that. That is so ferocious. Right next to it, we've got a, uh, well, what is this? I think this is a Brachiosaurus. That is so cool. Look at the detail to it. That is very neat. Up next, we've got a baby Indominus Rex. Look at this. It's kind of cute. And it's got a ginormous head. You can open its mouth reveal its tongue 
Oh, it's even got a roaring action as well. That is so cool. Look at this. This is a model Spinosaurus. Uh-oh, I think it's missing an arm actually. But look at its mouth. You can open and close its mouth. And check out that spine too. This is a huge dinosaur. But this toy is even bigger. This is the Scorpios Rex. And these toys have a few actions. One of the buttons controls its mouth and the other controls the claws. That is super cool. Up next on the top shelf, look at this gigantic Carnotaurus. This is one of my favorite giant dinosaurs that I have. And look, it's even got some battle damage right there on its face. And just like the other giant dinosaurs that I have, you can actually fit miniature dinosaurs down its throat and it actually has a stomach compartment as well. That is so cool. These are one of my favorite dinosaurs for sure. I just love the way they look. Right over here, we've got a mighty Stegosaurus with those huge spikes on its tail. That is so cool and I love the coloring as well. But watch out right next to it, a giant Indominus Rex. Watch out, look at the size of those teeth. Those are huge. And I love the eyes on these as well. These look super sinister. I love these giant dinosaurs. And right beside it, we've got some smaller dinosaurs too. We've got a baby Triceratops right here. We've got Velociraptor Blue. Everyone knows this one. We've got a model Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at the muscles on the dinosaur. That is massive. And this one has an adjustable mouth as well. Look at all those tiny little teeth. And the last one on the top shelf, a baby Carnotaurus. This dinosaur has two actions. The first is a button up top you can press and it blinks its eyes. That's kind of cool. And the second action is a button on the bottom of its tail. When you press that, it lunges forward and bites. Watch out for this dinosaur. All right, moving on down to our second shelf. We've got a mama Dilophosaurus and a baby Dilophosaurus right beside each other. And they're both super brightly colored. That means you better stay away from these. Over here, we've got a T-Rex with battle damage. Look at that on its side. And the tail also can control the mouth and the head as well. Right beside the T-Rex, we've got this awesomely colored Pachycephalosaurus. And look at that action when you pull the tail. The head goes up and down to headbutt the other dinosaurs. Watch out. Over here, we've got a little baby Brachiosaurus. This is a cute little dinosaur and still quite adjustable. It can move all its legs and its neck and its mouth as well. And moving on from this baby Brachiosaurus, we've got a baby Triceratops. We've got a green Velociraptor. Look at it, it's kind of sneaking along. It's in that sneaking pose. You better watch out for this Velociraptor. And we've got this Gallimimus right here too. Look at this, it's a little dinosaur. It's very cool. All right, moving on. Over here, we've got a Parasaurolophus. Look at the coloring on this dino. Super bright and even a little shiny. Look at that. That is super cool. Oh, and it's got some sound effects too. That is super neat. Right on over here, we've got a giant Velociraptor. This one is super cool coloring. I love, it's like teal coloring and it's super speckled all over its body. That is so cool. I love it. Right beside it, a smaller dinosaur. This is the Calavasaurus. And look at this, it's standing on four legs. The neck is adjustable, the legs are, and it's got those orange specks on its back. Right beside it, we've got another giant Velociraptor. I think this is Velociraptor Blue. And standing right beside her is Owen. Come on! 
Right beside them, we've got another mighty dinosaur, the Ceratosaurus. This one has action buttons on it. Let's see what it does. That's cool, it's a sliding button, so you can actually move it to multiple positions for different roars and uh, a different opening of the mouth. That is awesome. And right beside it, we've got a super different looking dinosaur. This is the Oranosaurus. Whoops, there goes the Ceratosaurus. That's okay though. This Oranosaurus also has an action button. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's super cool. It moves its neck up and down with sound effects. That is awesome. I love the coloring on this. All right, let's keep going. Over here, we've got a model Tyrannosaurus Rex and look at that roar pose that it's in. That is so cool. And right beside it, we've got another Paraceralophus. This one is yellow as well. And I think it has an action button too. Yep, right up at the top, moves its neck. And then I think it has a second one for its tail too. Super cool. Right beside it, is a big old Brachiosaurus. This one is red. And it's uh, made a little bit more from like a rubber substance. In real life, these dinosaurs are ginormous. Right next to it, oh, oh, look out. Another Velociraptor. This one is a bright green with stripes all over it. And it's got some type of device on its head, probably for tracking it. And on the rest of this level, we've got another Brachiosaurus. This one's striped green and red. We've got a bright blue Velociraptor, another baby Brachiosaurus, and one of my favorite Velociraptors. Look at this one. This has gold on its head and on its back. That is so cool. All right, moving down a level, here we go. Here is a bright green Velociraptor. This one has a button on its side. I think it's out of batteries now, but it also has a tail action. When you pull the tail, its mouth opens and closes. Right beside it, here's a good old Ankylosaurus. Look at all that armor it has. That is so cool. And it's got an action button. This is one of those sliding buttons so when you slide it up, you can go back and forth. Oh, it's hitting my hand. Over here, we've got a giant Triceratops with an action button. And it roars as well. That is so cool. Look at those giant horns. But watch out, right beside it, we've got a T-Rex with battle damage. Look. That's where the battle damage is gonna come out. You ready? Here we go. Bam, there's the battle damage. And you can pose this T-Rex's mouth too. So if you wanna keep it open for when you have it on the shelf, there you go. It's ready to go. That is so cool. Right beside it, we've got another awesome Carnotaurus. This is a super bright dinosaur. I love the coloring along its body. And this dinosaur has an action button too. Look at the tail, you can spin it and it moves its head. And when you press the button, it chomps its mouth. That is so cool. Oh, and here is a mighty dinosaur of the sea. This is a Mosasaurus. These things are ginormous and they can eat huge dinosaurs. You can move the fins, you can move the jaw and look at the attention to detail all along its body. That is so cool. All right, moving on. We've already unboxed these three dinosaurs and moving on over here. This is the Edmontosaurus. Look at that beautiful yellow crest on its head. And this dinosaur has an action as well. Like many of the other dinosaurs, you move the tail, you can move its head. That is super cool. I love how you can control these dinosaurs. Right next to it, we've got another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look out, everyone! And right beside it, not quite as big, but still ferocious looking. This is the Albertosaurus. I really like this dinosaur, because this looks 
different than a lot of the other dinosaurs and it comes with really cool battle damage. You can close it all the way and then you can even move its rib cage up and down. That is so cool. Right beside it, another giant T-Rex. This is so cool. Look at the size of that face and jaw. That is so awesome. And this right here is a Baryonyx with some super cool coloring. Look at that orange right on its nose right there. And this dinosaur also has an action button to control its jaw. <laughs> And the last on this level of the shelf, another great and mighty Scorpios Rex. It's got the jaw button and it's got the slashing action too. And of course, the poisonous quills on its tail. You better watch out for those. All right, let's move down another level. Here we go. Right at the edge, we've got another little Velociraptor Blue. Over here, we've got a model Spinosaurus. Look how mean this one looks. This one looks super angry. Look at those teeth. Look at those eyes too. Wow, that is a super scary looking dinosaur. And right next to it, we've got the glorious Endoraptor. The super smart, super intelligent, and super dangerous dinosaurs. These are super cool. And here are two more Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And look, they look quite a bit different. This one actually has a rubber tail, which I've always found very interesting. It's a unique addition to this toy. But these are really cool. I always love adding more T-Rexes to my collection. All right, let's move on. What else do we have here? Oh, here is another giant Triceratops. This one is green and it's got the stabbing action with its horns and another button to control its tail too. How cool is that? But what is this giant one right beside it? Let's see. Oh, this is another giant Brachiosaurus. Look at the size of that neck. That is so huge. Right next to it, another massive looking T-Rex. That is so awesome. And this T-Rex has a button on its back for the chomping. That is so cool. And right beside it, we've got a giant Velociraptor. This is actually an RC Velociraptor. You can see it's got some wheels and it moves its arms. But look at that face, that is so cool. You see all those teeth? And look at those eyes too. That dinosaur is looking for something to eat right now. Oh, check this one out. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but look how bright it is. That is so cool. It's almost like it's on fire. That is so awesome. I love the custom coloring on this T-Rex. And right beside the T-Rex, we've got this winged dinosaur. I think it might be a Pteranodon. I can't remember actually. Let me know in the comments if you know what type of flying dinosaur this is. But I love that gold on its face. Look at that. That is super cool. All right, let's move on. Over here, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. And this one is super adjustable. You can move its arms and its legs and its neck, and it has a few action buttons as well. The first is the claw slashing action, look at that. And then the second, press down on the tail, and he gives a mighty roar. That is so awesome. This is a huge Indominus Rex figure. And here we go, another giant T-Rex. This is so cool. This one is an orange T-Rex too. And look at all that different coloring. It's like darker on the top, and then it gets to a brighter orange here, and then its belly is even brighter too. Super neat. And our last few dinosaurs on this level, we've got a Stegosaurus right here. We've got another model Spinosaurus. Look at those eyes, it's looking for food to eat right now. 
And finally, another awesome Ankylosaurus with all that armor and then the action button to swing its tail. That is so awesome. And moving down to our final level, these are more giant dinosaur figures. I believe this is the Apatosaurus. And look, you can even open and close its mouth too. This is a huge dinosaur. But the one I like even more than this, custom colored giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just like that smaller one we saw, this one looks kind of like it's on fire, really. And it's just so huge, you can open and close its mouth. And you can actually fit miniature dinosaurs down its throat to its stomach compartment down here. That is so awesome. And we've got even more larger figures. Here is a giant T-Rex that is orange. And beside it, we've got Velociraptor Blue, giant form. And just like the others, can fit some mini dinos all the way down its throat into its stomach, which is super cool. And look at those claws again. Those are huge. And right beside it, we've got another uniquely colored Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at this one. This is like a bright blue, kind of like a grayish white color. This is so cool and so different from the other figures that I have. And just like my other giant figures, this dinosaur has a throat that you can feed miniature dinosaurs and it goes all the way down its throat into the stomach compartment where you can get them out. It is so cool. All right, here are the final huge dinosaurs. I've got two matching Brachiosauruses. These things are both, I don't know, probably like two or three feet high and they're super detailed. Look at that skin. Look at their eyes and their teeth and even inside their mouth. And last, but certainly not least, the great Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Look at this. I love this one because of all the battle damage that it has and just like all the detail. This one's mostly green, so I think that this one would blend into the jungle more. And it is just so cool and so massive. I love this one. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are doing a shelf build of my Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures, and we're gonna be putting them on display on this empty space on my display shelves. So let's get started actually with this brand new figure, the super colossal Atrociraptor. Let's open it up. I am super excited to check this one out. All right, here is the fully assembled super colossal Atrociraptor. Let's check out all the features. First, check out the face. It's a fully adjustable mouth as usual. It's got the tunnel down its throat to the stomach compartment, just like all my other super colossal figures. And you can rotate the wrists, you can move the arms up and down. You can actually twist the neck as well. And you can fully move the legs can twist the ankles, and the tail is adjustable as well. Even the tip, you can twist a little back and forth. This figure is massive. Let's go ahead and put this right at the top of the display shelf. All right, let's grab this big old Atrociraptor and put him at the very center, the very top. All right. Next up, we've got a vintage Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at those marbled eyes. And this T-Rex actually has a throat all the way down to its stomach so that you can feed it miniature dinosaurs and stuff. And that's pretty cool. Let's put this right next to this little dinosaur right here. 
Looking good. Over here, we've got a giant Indominus Rex. This one has the chomping and the claw slashing action, which is pretty cool. Let's put this over on the left side of the shelf here. Here's another vintage Jurassic Park figure. This is Apache Cephalosaurus. Now the headbutting action on this figure is broken, so I can't show you it, but let's go ahead and put it next to that huge T-Rex from Jurassic Park right up here. I think this will be my Jurassic Park shelf right here. Next up, we've got a little Atrociraptor. Look at the coloring on this, super bright. It's got some brown on the top and it's got some huge glass eyes too. Let's check out this button on the top and see what it does. Cool, it's got a chomping action. I want that to go right in the center here. Next up, we've got a huge old Spinosaurus. This is the, I believe it's the extreme chomping one. And you can see it's got the green body with the iconic red spine. Let's put this right next to the Indominus Rex up top here. We've got a vintage Jurassic Park Stegosaurus with battle damage. Look at that. And this Stegosaurus actually has a rubbery tail so it can swing back and forth. That is pretty cool. Let's put it on our Jurassic Park shelf. Here is another vintage Jurassic Park figure. This is a Triceratops with battle damage and a roaring action. All you have to do is squeeze the belly. That is really cool. This is going on the Jurassic Park shelf. Here is a Jurassic World Ceratosaurus with battle damage on the side. This one is a pretty small figure, so let's put it in the middle shelf here. Just stand him up like that. Here is a Parasaurolophus, I believe, from the Jurassic Park toy line. And this figure has an action button on its back that you use to make it run. This is super cool. Let's put that on the second shelf of this Jurassic Park shelf here. Next up, we've got a huge Jurassic World T-Rex. This one has a huge roaring action with the button on its back. That is so cool. And this is a super big figure too. Let's put this next to the Spinosaurus up top. Here is another T-Rex from Jurassic World. This one has a brown body with darker brown on top. It's got an action button on the tail for roaring. And you can actually move the tail back and forth to control its face. Let's put this on the left side next to our other T-Rex. Here's another vintage Jurassic Park figure. I believe that this is a Velociraptor. Looks like it. And it's got an orange body with black stripes on the top and on its side too. Let's put this on our lower Jurassic Park shelf right here. Here's another big T-Rex. This is a Jurassic World figure and it's got the battle damage all over its body. On its chin, on its neck, on its legs, on its torso too. And it has a button on the top of its head for the roaring action. Very cool. Let's put this next to our other T-Rexes from Jurassic World. Here's a scary looking dinosaur. This is a Therizinosaurus. This is a super loud toy. It's pretty sensitive as you can see. You barely have to move it for it to have sound effects. Check out those huge claws on its hands. Look at that mean face too. That is really cool. Let's put this in our center shelf. Next up, we've got another Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. This is actually an older figure, so it's not from the newest Jurassic World Dominion movie. You can see it actually has a rubberized neck right there, while the rest of its body is a hard plastic. Let's put this running out of room on the left side, so let's put this next to the Atrociraptor. We've still got another big old dinosaur in here. This is a Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. This one has a huge neck and head, larger than many of the other figures that I have. And it's a darker brown color than many of the figures too. And just like the others, it has an action button on its tail to activate the mouth. 
Let's put this right next to the Atrociraptor. This figure is an Allosaurus. This is from the old Jurassic Park line, and it actually has battle damage all over its body that you can take it out and see the insides. It's also got one on its leg here. Let's see if I can get it off. So you can see the bone, and there's one on the tail too. All right, let's put this on our Jurassic Park shelf. Here's another Parasaurolophus. This one though is from the Jurassic World toy line. So it's a bit newer than the Jurassic Park figure that we saw earlier. So let's put this right here in the center. <laughs> Here is another figure that was pretty hard to find. This is an Irritator, I believe. It's got the light blue and the dark blue on the top and the brown bottom. Let's put this over here on the left side. Here is a vintage Triceratops from the Jurassic Park toy line. You can see that when you move the leg, it goes into the roaring action too. That is pretty cool. It is a pretty small figure. Let's put this on our Jurassic Park shelf. Next up, we've got a newer dinosaur from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is a Yang Chuanosaurus. It's got the orange right at the top of its head, while the rest of its body is green and brown. This figure is pretty cool. And on the tail, it's got a button for the roaring and chomping. Plus, you can move the tail around to control its torso and head. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Irritator. This dinosaur is pretty bright. It's got some bright red, yellow, and black on it. This is from the old Jurassic Park toy line, and this one is, I believe it's pronounced an Amargo Spinus. Check it out. When you move its leg, it sticks out its spines on its back, on its neck, and it opens its mouth, too. Let's put this right next to our other Jurassic Park figures. From Jurassic World, this is the Concavenator. Check out this interesting hump right on its back. It's got some bright red and purple, as well as the purple on its face. Plus the action button on its hump, when you press that, swings its tail back and forth. Plus this other action button opens and closes its jaw. Let's put this one front and center. Over here from Jurassic World is a Cryolophosaurus with bright yellow coloring on the sides and bottom, and brown and orange on the top. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Yang Chuanosaurus. Up next is the Sarcosagus. This dinosaur lives in the water and has a green underbelly inside and the clay red top. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Cryolophosaurus. Next up, We've got this super special Baryonyx. I believe this is from the Hammond collection. And there's a bunch of points of articulation all over its body. And you can, of course, open and close the mouth too. These are some pretty cool figures that the Hammond collection is coming out with, I think. Let's put it next to the Sarcosagus. Right over here, we've got another big dinosaur. This is a Carcharodontosaurus. And it has one action button on its back that activates the jaw chomper. That is really cool. Let's put it next to this Atrociraptor. Here we've got another Atrociraptor from Jurassic World. This is one of the basic figures. You can see it's got the bright red eye and then the white body with the brown or black stripes. Let's put this next to the Baryonyx over here. Here is a Jurassic World Endoraptor. And you can see that it is in the crawling position as if it's sneaking up on its prey. Let's put this next to the Ceratosaurus up here. Here's another Jurassic Park figure. This is a Velociraptor. It's got the chomping action and you can move its arms and its legs. Let's put this right here. See this gold one right here is a hybrid T-Rex. I believe it is a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus and it is super brightly colored. It's orange and gold. Since it's so bright, why don't we put this right in the dead center? We've got some more Atrociraptors here. Check these out. 
This Atrociraptor is in the crawling mode. You can see it's laying close to the ground, whereas this Atrociraptor is just standing up. Let's put these right next to the big Atrociraptor over here. Here's another older figure from Jurassic Park. This is a Chasmosaurus, and it's got an action lever on its leg that causes the roaring. Let's put it on our Jurassic Park shelf. Here, we've got a basic figure of a Pyroraptor from Jurassic World. This is from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie, and I think these ones look really cool. Let's go ahead and put it on the shelf. I think we have some space right beneath the giant Atrociraptor. Over here, I believe that this is a Chialingosaurus. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let's go ahead and find a home for this on the shelf. Right beneath this big old Spinosaurus. Here is a Monolophosaurus with some pretty cool coloring. It's got some orange and yellow and a green body. Let's put this figure right underneath these T-Rexes right here. Next up, we've got another vintage Jurassic Park figure. This is a baby Triceratops. Look at those glass eyes. The rest of its body is gray and blue. This originally came in an egg shell that I probably have somewhere, but for now, let's go ahead and place it right on the edge of the shelf right here. Next up is an extreme damage Coelurus from Jurassic World. Check it out. You can press this button, and it activates the battle damage on and off. That is pretty awesome. Let's put this figure right next to this giant T-Rex here. We'll be standing right next to him. Just a few more left. Let's see what we got. We've got a bright blue Velociraptor and a baby T-Rex with a bandage around its leg. Let's find a place for it on the shelf here. Let's put the raptor right over here. And the baby T-Rex right underneath this giant T-Rex. And for our last two dinosaurs, we've got a tan Gallimimus and the super bright Dilophosaurus. Check out all that yellow and red on its frills. That is super cool. All right, let's find a place on the shelf for these. Let's have the Dilophosaurus go right up here. And the Gallimimus right next to the Indominus Rex. Welcome back. Today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur figures and putting them on my display shelf right over here. I've got tons of empty space. So let's get started with these brand new ones right here. Let's first get started with the super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's open this thing up. Here is the fully assembled, brand new Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex. And look at the size of this thing. Compared to the other super colossal dinosaurs that I have, this one is a darker brown color. It's got that black top with the stripes along the side right there. And just like my other super colossal figures, it's quite adjustable with the ankles, you can move the legs, you can wiggle the tail, you can move the arms. Oh, you know what? Right on its head. It kind of feels a little rubbery, actually you can kind of press down on it compared to the rest of its body, which is a hard plastic. And of course, like all the other super colossal T-Rexes, this dinosaur has a throat compartment that goes all the way down to its stomach. So you can feed it mini dinosaurs and then empty them out. That is super cool. Next up, we've got the Baryonyx from the Hammond collection. Let's open it up. Right, here it is fully assembled. This is one of the most adjustable baryonyxes that I have. I have a few of the Velociraptors from the Hammond collection, and this one's pretty similar with how you can move it and adjust it. This baryonyx has a dark top with all those bumps all over, then it's got the white stripe right along the side, and then a gray side and a white underbelly. 
And on the face, you can see that there's a little bit of blue on the under eye. I really like how adjustable this is though. This is really cool. All right, let's put these two dinosaurs on the shelves. All right, let's grab this T-Rex and bring him on over to the shelf. There we go, T-Rex is on display. <laughs> Next, let's grab the Baryonyx and put it right beside the T-Rex. All right, let's move on to all these other dinosaurs. Let's first start off with this huge Indominus Rex. This Indominus Rex has two features on it. It's got the button on the tail that activates the jaw. And it's got the button on top of its back that activates the slashing action. All right, let's put this on the shelf right over here. Next up, we've got another T-Rex. This one has similar coloring to the giant T-Rex that we've got over here. And this is also a brand new Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex. And this T-Rex has an action button on the tail. You can move the tail to control the neck and there's a button as well to control the jaw. Let's go ahead and put this on the shelf. Right in the center. All right, moving along. We've got another T-Rex. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line. It's got a rubbery tail. The rest of the body is plastic, aside from the rubbery neck right here. Let's go ahead and put this on the shelf too. Where should we put it? Right next to this other T-Rex. Right over here, we've got a giant Spinosaurus. Look at the size of this dinosaur. It's got the red spine, the red face. There's a button that activates the jaw. All right, let's put this right next to the Indominus Rex. Next up, we've got another giant T-Rex. This one is brown with gray spotting all over the top. And it comes with some pretty cool sound effects, as you can hear. Plus, there's an action button for the roaring. Let's put this down right next to the super colossal T-Rex. Right in the back here, we've got a classic Stegosaurus. This is from the Jurassic Park toy line. So this is a pretty old toy, and it's got that battle damage right there on the side. Mm. The tail is pretty rubbery, so you can swing the tail back and forth. All right, let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's have it go right next to these T-Rexes. And right over here, we've got another T-Rex. This one is a lighter brown color with dark brown on the top and a lighter underbelly. With this T-Rex, you can twist the tail to control the face and there's a button on the tail to control the roar too. Up next, we've got a giant Mosasaurus. The whole body on this Mosasaurus is pretty rubbery. And as you can see, I can press inward on it so it's hollow. And the jaw opens and closes too. All right, let's find a place for this. Let's have it go on this lower shelf right here. Right back here, we've got a smaller predator. This is the Rajasaurus, and this is a newer toy as well. And when you press down on the neck, as the roaring action. Let's put this right up here on this higher shelf. I think we've still got another T-Rex in here. Yeah, here's another one. This is kind of almost gray colored with brown on the top and a light underbelly. And this T-Rex has a button near the head that you can press for the roar. All right, there we go, right next to the other T-Rex. Here we've got another Stegosaurus with different coloring. And this figure is a bit newer than the Jurassic Park one that we saw earlier. Plus, this Stegosaurus has some actions. When you press down here, it swings the tail back and forth. That is very cool. Let's put it on the top shelf, right next to the Ragosaurus. Next up is a Carcharodontosaurus. I think I actually have two of them. This is a blue version with orange and brown detailing on the top. And then I've actually got a yellow one with orange and brown detailing on the top too. Let's put both of these on the shelf.
Here we've got an Allosaurus, I believe. This dinosaur is gray with yellow detailing all over its body. It has an action button right on the back to control the jaw. Next up, we've got a good old Ankylosaurus with a brown underbelly and a green and gray top. This Ankylosaurus also has an action button to sweep the tail. Let's put the Ankylosaurus right up there. Right over here, we've got a bright green Velociraptor. I believe this Velociraptor is also from the Hammond collection. As you can see, it is super adjustable all over its body. It is really cool. Let's put it on the same shelf as the Baryonyx over here. Next up, we've got the Yang Chuanosaurus. This is a newer dinosaur from the Jurassic World Dominion series, I believe. This dinosaur is mostly green around its body with the brown detailing on the top and the bright orange right on its face. Let's go ahead and find a place for this on the shelf. Right over here, we've got another huge predator. This is the Tarbosaurus. Look at those huge spikes on its back and that bright red under its chin too. This is a really cool looking predator. Let's put him on the higher shelf, right here. Nope, he barely fits in there. Right up top here, we've got a super bright dinosaur. This is the Nasutoceratops. This dinosaur has some green, blue, and orange all over its body. And look at the size of those horns too. That is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put this right next to the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus. Here is another awesome predator and one of my favorites. This is a Carnotaurus with the red and dark purple. It looks kind of like purple on the top of its body. This dinosaur also has an action button on its back for the chomping. All right, let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's put them next to these T-Rexes over here. Here we've got a noisy dinosaur. This, I believe, is a Cryolophosaurus, and it has some super awesome detailing on its back and on the top of its head. Check that out. Cool, let's find a place for this. Let's put them right next to the Carcharodontosaurus. Here we've got a super long dinosaur. This is a Sarcosagus. It's got a blue, gray underbelly, and then the purple orange and red on the top. This is really cool. Let's find a place for this right next to the Mosasaurus. Here's another predator. I believe that this one is a Ceratosaurus. It's got that bright red coloring and that white horn right on the top of its nose. And the rest of its body is gray with a little bit of brown. Let's find a place for this on the shelf. Right next to the Tarbosaurus. <laughs> All right, we've got another Baryonyx in here. This one is not from the Hammond collection, so it's not quite as adjustable as the other Baryonyx that we opened up today. But it's still got an action button right on the top. Let's put this on the shelf right next to the Ceratosaurus. Here is a red, or it's like a clay red Triceratops with brown detailing on the top. This Triceratops has one action button right on the top that controls the head. Let's put this dinosaur right next to the Nasutoceratops. Right down here, we've got a small raptor. This one is tan with brown on the top, and this raptor has a slashing action. You can see it's spring-loaded in its torso so that you can actually slash with the claws. Let's put this right next to Ankylosaurus. Check this out, this is a baby Brachiosaurus and it's pretty adjustable still. You can move the legs, the neck, and you can twist the tail too. So let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's put this right next to the Triceratops. Here we've got another raptor. This one is a yellow color with battle damage on the side that you can open and close. 
That is really cool. Let's put this next to the other raptor. All right, another Baryonyx with different coloring again. This has some bright blue right on the top of its head and some darker blue along its body, a little bit of white, and then the rest of its body is a gray color. Plus, this Baryonyx has a slide action button, so you can get multiple sound effects with each slide. That is very cool. Let's put it on the same shelf as this other Baryonyx. Here we've got a different looking Triceratops. This is a dark green with orange spots all over it. That's pretty interesting. This figure is also pretty adjustable. You can move the arms and you can move the head up and down too. Let's find a home for this on the shelf. Put it right here next to this Baryonyx. I believe this dinosaur is a Monolophosaurus. I think I actually have multiple of this one. Yeah, I think this is a Monolophosaurus as well. And look at the difference in coloring between the two. That is really cool, totally different. Let's find a home for these. Let's put them on this lower shelf right here. Still got a few dinosaurs left. This, I think, is another Ceratosaurus, but with totally different coloring. It's a dark green with gray detailing along the top. And this dinosaur also has the slide action button for multiple sound effects. Very cool. Let's put this right next to the T-Rex, right over here. Next up, we've got a small dinosaur. This is a Shringosaurus. It's got a super long neck and two huge horns on its head. That is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and find a place for this right here on the front shelf. Next up, we've got a dinosaur that looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but it isn't. It's a Chialingosaurus. Check out those spikes right there on its shoulders. How cool is that? Let's put this dinosaur right next to this Triceratops up here. Right over here, we've got a dinosaur that looks kind of like a Triceratops, but I think it's actually a Cosmoceratops. Look at how different all those horns are on the front. That is really cool. It's got some green striping right along the top. Let's put this one on the front shelf too. Here's a big dinosaur. This is a Kentrosaurus. It's got those huge spikes right along the side. Even more big than the Chialingosaurus that we just saw. Let's put this right next to the Monoophosauruses right here on the bottom. Here we've got another Baryonyx. This one has bright orange on the top of its head and the rest of its body is a light brown with blue detailing on the top. That is cool. Let's put this one right next to this Ceratosaurus. I believe this dinosaur is a Parasaurolophus. Look at that huge horn right on its head. These are really cool looking dinosaurs, I think. Let's go ahead and put this right next to the Kentrosaurus. Next up, we've got a Herrerasaurus. Look at that super long mouth and all those teeth. That is really cool. Let's put this dinosaur right in front of the Carnotaurus. We've got a few more raptors in here. This raptor is bright red with, I think that's purple on its body. And this other raptor, it's more of a brown color with orange detailing on the top. That's really cool. Looks like we don't have any more space up there for raptors, so let's go ahead and put them right up here, up in front. Here is a purple Stegosaurus with yellow spots all over its body. That is pretty neat, and the legs and tail are adjustable on this dinosaur. Let's go ahead and put him right in front of this super colossal T-Rex. Just a few left. Here is a bright red Minmi dinosaur. Look at all those spikes and armor plating. That is really cool. Let's put this right next to the Cosmoceratops. And last but not least, we've got a green Sauropelta. 
It's dark green on the top, light green on the bottom with those huge spikes right on its side. Let's put this right in front of this T-Rex up here. Welcome to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of Camp Cretaceous and Jurassic World figures and putting them up on my empty shelves right over here. Got a lot of shelves to fill, so let's get started with the brand new Spinosaurus and the Snap Squads. First up is the Camp Cretaceous Extreme Chompin' Spinosaurus. Let's open this up. Right. This is a huge figure. I have a few other Spinosauruses like this one. So the coloring's pretty realistic. It's not too crazy. It's brown on most of its body. It's got the red detailing on the spine, on the face. It's got those orange eyes. Its body is pretty adjustable. You can move the ankles, the legs, the tail, the arms. You can even adjust the neck like that, which is pretty cool. And it's got a button on the top of its head that you can use for chomping. Next up is the Camp Cretaceous Snap Squad Spinosaurus. This is a little one. You can still see that iconic spine right there. Let's open it up. As you can see, most of its limbs are pretty loose, so they actually just dangle there. And that is because you can snap this onto something and then it'll just dangle there. And just like the big Spinosaurus that we saw, this one has those dark orange eyes too. Let's check out our other Snap Squad figures. Next up is the Triceratops from the Snap Squad series. This figure is a dark red, kind of like a maroon color. It's got the yellow eyes and the yellow detailing right on the front. It's got the three horns and just like the other, its legs are dangly so that when you snap it onto something, its legs will dangle like that. And last but not least, the Snap Squad Carnotaurus, one of my favorite dinosaurs. Let's get this opened up. All right, here it is. This Carnotaurus has a lighter color than most of the Carnotaurus figures I have. You can see it's got a light brown and then dark brown on the top. But like all the other Carnotauruses I have, you can see it's got the battle damage right there on its nose. That's really cool. All right, let's put all these new figures on the shelf. Let's start with the Spinosaurus, right in the dead center of this empty shelf right here. These Spinosauruses are usually pretty hard to balance, but this one's working out. And let's snap these Snap Squad figures right next to the Spinosaurus. Gonna hang the Carnotaurus upside down, right on the shelf. This little Spinosaurus, I think I'll attach to the big one, right on its hand. And the Triceratops, where should we put that one? Ooh, I know. Let's hang it right on the banner right here. Ha, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Let's fill up my shelves with the rest of these Camp Cretaceous figures. Let's start with this Ceratosaurus right here. This is gray and red mostly. You can see it's got some brown detailing on it. And it's got an action button for its jaws. That is really cool. Let's put it front and center, right next to the Spinosaurus. Here we've got a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is like a brown-orange color. You can see it's got a button on the top to control its jaw. And you can adjust the neck just like the Spinosaurus. And you can also adjust the rest of the limbs too. Let's put this one on this right shelf, right in the center. Next up, a huge Indominus Rex with battle damage on the side. This is the battle damage that you can turn on and off with the button. That is super cool. And still, the rest of the figure is pretty adjustable. You can adjust the legs and the arms and the neck too. And there's the action button on its tail to control its face. Let's put this Indominus Rex right next to the Spinosaurus, right in the middle. There we go. 
Here is another T-Rex. This T-Rex, when you move the tail, it controls the head. So it looks pretty realistic. This T-Rex is brown in color as well. You can see the browner stripe right along the top of its body and a light underbelly. There we go, two T-Rexes side by side. Here is a slightly smaller carnivore. This is the Carnotaurus. And just like the Snap Squad figure that we saw earlier, you can see that battle damage right on its nose. How cool is that? And it's pretty detailed on its body. You can see there's black specks all over its mostly red body with a lighter underbelly. So let's find a place for this on the shelf. Let's go over to this side right here. Put it right next to this Velociraptor. Here's another giant Indominus Rex, but check out the coloring on this. This is totally different than the gray one that we have over there. This is a custom colored one. So it's got blue, purple, orange, and black, plus those green eyes right there. That is really cool. Let's find a spot for this on the shelf. Let's put it on the other side of the Spinosaurus. All right, there it is. This first shelf is looking pretty full already. Check this one out. This is a gray and yellow Allosaurus, I believe. Look at that action button right on its back to control its jaw. This is pretty cool. And it's a fully adjustable body as well. Let's put these right next to the T-Rexes. Here is a T-Rex with a very special feature. With this action button, you can see that it has a tearing action. That is pretty unique. Not that many figures that I have do that. So let's find a place for this right next to the Carnotaurus. Here is an herbivore. This is a Triceratops. It's a red maroon color with brown detailing on the top. And it's got an action button that you can press to roar. Seems like the sound effects aren't really working right now, but this is a pretty detailed figure. Looks like a little discoloration on its leg right there. Or maybe that's intentional. I actually can't tell. Let's put this on this higher up shelf right here. And we've still got a few more T-Rexes in here. This one is a battle damage, just like the Indominus Rex that we saw earlier. And press the button to turn the battle damage on and off. And this T-Rex is fully posable, so when you open its mouth, it actually stays open. You don't have to press a button. Let's put this right next to this other Terran T-Rex right here. There we go, got a little more space. Here is, I believe, another Allosaurus. This Allosaurus, though, is yellow with blue coloring all over its body. You can see that there's two different tones of blue. Got the light blue and the dark blue. Plus the two action buttons on its back. One to control the jaw and one to control the arms. Let's put this right next to this other Allosaurus. All right, looking awesome. Here is a Baryonyx. This has probably one of my favorite colorings of the Baryonyx figures that I have. Two tones of green, got the dark green in the front and the bright green in the back. Got some yellow detailing and some red right next to its eyes. Let's put this right next to the Triceratops up top here. Here's a weird looking dinosaur. This is a Sarcosagus. It's got a dark purple, it's got some orange, got red, and then the rest of its body is like a blue gray color. You can move all of its legs, and it's pretty adjustable actually, and you can move the tail to control the head. Let's put this right in between the Spinosaurus and the Indominus Rex. Oh, we've got another T-Rex right here. This T-Rex I don't think has battle damage or anything like that. So this is just a normal T-Rex. It's got the button on the top of its head for the roaring action. Let's put this T-Rex right next to the other T-Rexes. Here's an interesting looking herbivore. This is a Kentrosaurus. Check out those huge spikes right along its shoulders as well as the spikes on its tail, just like a Stegosaurus. And this Kentrosaurus has a sliding action to swing those spikes back and forth. 
That is really cool. Let's put this right next to the Baryonyx up top right here. Here's another Baryonyx. This one has bright orange detailing right on the top of its head. The rest of its body is brown and a dark gray blue color right along the top. Let's check out this action button too. Let's put it next to these T-Rexes and Carnotaurus right here. This dinosaur, I believe, is an Aranosaurus. It's pretty unique in its shape and color. Look at that bright blue right along its mouth. It's got some yellow on its spine and it's got a light underbelly as well. Plus, this Aranosaurus has a slide action. All right, let's find a place for this. Let's put it right next to the Sarcosagus, right up front. Here is another herbivore. This is a Cynoceratops. You can see it looks pretty similar to the Triceratops, but the big difference is in its horns and its face. Plus, it's got an action button on the back to control its head as well. Let's put this Cynoceratops right next to the Kentrosaurus, right up top. Here's another predator. This is a medium-sized figure, and this is the Metriocanthosaurus. It's got the action button on its back to control its jaw, and the rest of its body is like a yellow-green color and darker green along the top. Let's put this right in front of these T-Rexes right over here. Here's another predator. This is an Albertosaurus. This dinosaur has an all green body with orange detailing right along its back all the way up to its head. And this figure has the action button on its tail to control its jaw. Next up is a Ceratosaurus with dark green coloring and black detailing along its back. And this Ceratosaurus has the slide action to open and close its jaw in multiple degrees. Let's put this Ceratosaurus right next to the other one, right here. Next up, we've got another mighty Triceratops with a brown body and two tones of blue. You got the dark blue in the back and the light blue in the front. And with this Triceratops, you can actually control the head with the tail. You can twist it back and forth. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you can control its head. Let's put this Triceratops right next to the Sinoceratops. Here's a different looking dinosaur. This is the Suchomimus. It's got a super long and narrow snout. This dinosaur is blue and yellow in color and it has one action button that you press to control the head. Let's put this Suchomimus next to, you know what? Let's put him on this lower shelf right next to Godzilla. Over here, we've got a small little one. This is Ankylosaurus Bumpy. And as you can see, we've actually got a full-size Ankylosaurus with the same coloring as Bumpy. Let's check both of these out. So Bumpy's pretty small. It doesn't have any action buttons, but you can adjust the head and the legs and the tail as well. But the adult one has an action on it. Let's check that out. Just like many of the other figures we've seen, this Ankylosaurus has a slide action on its back. And can you guess what that does? It swings its tail around. That is really cool. Let's put these Ankylosauruses right on the shelf. Check it out, it is another Carnotaurus. This one is more brightly colored than the other ones that we've seen. You can see all those bumps and spikes on its back. It's got the dark brown on the top and it's like a red orange on the sides and a gray underbelly. Let's put this Carnotaurus right next to these T-Rexes right over here. This is looking pretty awesome. This is like the carnivore shelf so far. Here we've got another Albertosaurus, but this one has battle damage. You can see it's got the stomach. It's actually pretty squishy. 
Then you can slide down the ribs and they click in place. And then you can actually cover it up all the way. Let's put this Albertosaurus right next to the other one. Here's another big figure. This is a Stegosaurus with a mostly green body and some brown and tan detailing. That is really cool. Let's put this Stegosaurus next to these Ankylosauruses down here. All right, we've got even another Allosaurus with the slide action for its jaw. This figure is a dark green color all around its body, and it's got the light tan and red detailing right along its neck, and those red eyes too. Let's put this dinosaur next to this Indominus Rex, right in the front. Here is our last medium-sized dinosaur of the bin. This is a Baryonyx, and it's got green on the belly and sides, and then two tones of brown. Got the light brown in the back and the dark brown in the front and more light brown right on top of its head too. <laughs> Let's put this Baryonyx right next to this Baryonyx over here. All right, that shelf is just about full. Let's go ahead and grab these Velociraptors. I got one, two, and three. Check out the different coloring on these. We've got a bright red and green Velociraptor. We've got a dark gray and yellow Velociraptor. And we've also got a bright orange, yellow, and brown Velociraptor. Mm. Let's put all of these Velociraptors together on this front shelf right here. Second one right here. And the third one right here. Right next to the Atrociraptor. Got some interesting looking smaller dinosaurs. I believe this is a Protoceratops. <laughs> this one is a super light green on its side and the yellow detailing all over its body. Let's put this Protoceratops right here. Next up, we've got a dark red Minmi with spikes all over its top. <laughs> Let's put this dinosaur right in the front, right in front of the Spinosaurus. Over here, we've got a Zunoceratops. It's got the two spikes in the front, and it's got a bright green body with the dark gray-blue coloring on the top and all in the front, too. Aww. Let's put this Zunoceratops right in front of this Triceratops right here. Check out the spikes on this Sauropelta. It's got a bright red body along the top with brown on the bottom. Aww. Let's put this Sauropelta right in front of the Indominus Rex. I believe this dinosaur is a Monolophosaurus. This dinosaur has a light brown body with gray detailing on the top and on its feet too. Let's put this dinosaur right up top here next to the Pyroraptor. Here is a winged dinosaur with battle damage on its wing. That's interesting. This, I believe, is a Pteranodon. <sighs> Let's put this Pteranodon on top of the Indominus Rex. I think it'll rest there really good. Just a few more dinosaurs left. This is a Tanystrophius. This dinosaur lives in the water. And this figure has an action. When you pull down on the tail, it moves its neck up and down. <laughs> Let's put this dinosaur way over here next to the Triceratops. Here is another winged dinosaur. This is a Dimorphodon. This dinosaur has a shorter snout compared to the Pteranodon. And you can see that it's got some dark red or maroon coloring right on the underside of its wings. Let's put this flying dinosaur right up top. This T-Rex right here. Next up, we've got a bright green Draco Rex with gray striping along the top of its body. It's got a bunch of horns on its head. You can adjust the neck, the head, the arms, and the legs. I think you can twist the tail too. Let's put this Draco Rex right next to this Minmi. 
Here is a Stiggy Maloc. Oh. This dinosaur is a orange-red color along its body with darker detailing along all of its body. It's got the light underbelly, it's got the horns on its head, and of course, the super hard head for headbutting. <laughs> and our last dinosaur is a Gallimimus. This dinosaur is a light tan along its body. You can see it's got some striping on the top. Plus, it's got an action button to move the legs back and forth for running. Let's put this right next to the Stiggy Maloc up top here. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.